Hello and welcome to the Tank Club. With the Elder Scrolls Online Necrom, the Arcanist arrives and with that we're going to see the end of the popular tank set, the Claw of Yolnacrin. This has been on the cards for a little while thanks to the minor courage buff being provided by the Oaken Soul Ring and the increase in heavy attack damage dealer builds. But with the addition of the Arcanist skill Arcanist's Domain, which is a large 20 second AoE that provides minor courage also, this is the final nail in the coffin for this set. Claw of Yolnacrin has been a pillar tank set for four years and was so popular thanks to, at the time, its virtually unique group buff combined with the tank benefits of using the set and then the simplicity of using it. This meant that all tanks had at least one set that they could bank on for collecting, investing into getting the perfect traits, upgrading it to legendary and throwing on some gold tri-stat enchants. With the set now becoming obsolete, the big question is, what do you use to replace it? It's not going to be as simple as a straight switch from one set to the next. For dungeons, there's been a lot of options for tank sets for a while due to the smaller group size. You can benefit from a wider variety of sets and you also have less group members available to wear group buff sets. You have less people benefiting from the sets as well. So sets such as Powerful Assault, Vestment of Olorim, Turning Tide, Pearlescent Ward, Drake's Rush, Crimson Oath's Rive are all great four player content sets. When it comes to tank sets for Trials main tanks, Yolnacrim was one of the only guaranteed sets we had with the second five piece set varying depending on group and experience. It does mean if you want to do Trials, you'll need to keep a bigger collection of sets available as your group leader may now request a much wider variety of gear compared to before where it was just Yolnacrim plus one other set. You'll want to have Pearlescent Ward and Sax Heal Champion as your base sets as they'll fit into most groups but then you'll also need Crimson Oath and Turning Tide as your situational sets. It's always a good idea to keep all support sets so everything that healers wear, everything that damage dealers wear that support the group because they could easily become tank meta sets. If you have three Necros and a damage dealer in Alkosh in a group, then both Turning Tide and Crimson would not be needed. If your off tank was potentially using Powerful Assault and Sacked Champion, that leaves you with only Pearlescent Ward as a set that is currently kind of seen as a meta tank set that you have to use. Sacks can be doubled up, which is useful, but it does leave the potential for other sets to be utilized by the main tank. Maybe Eben makes a big comeback in 2023. Now I'm only joking. How do you feel about the end of the Claw of Yolnacrin set? What gear sets are you going to replace it with as we go into Necrom? Let me know in the comments below. Thanks very much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye bye for now.